Does your car or van have an old stereo? Are you really envious of the modern cars and vans with doubled in stereos with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay? Well, I think I've got the answer for you. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. Well, this arrived today from Amazon, and I think it could be the solution for what a lot of us are looking for. Especially if you've got an old VW camper van, or any old camper van, and you want to have decent satellite navigation. Well, this is um, called Carpuride, and it's a um, display screen that connects up to your stereo and your phone and gives you that double din experience without buying a double din. So let's have a look and see what's actually in the box. Got the head unit and um, feels quite substantial. And I would say this has been opened before, which is quite disappointing. So we'll contact Amazon about that. Anyway, so what have we got here? Got a mount for the dash. Got a windscreen sucker. Power supply, going to get later. Audio lead to connect your audio. A little manual. Spare sticker. And spare sucker for this one. Okay, so let's have an actual look at this. A bit concerned now because if it has been opened. Take him out. And there's a film over there. The glass, and there's no fingerprints on it, so maybe it was just the, the box had a little bit of tear in it. So that's the double in screen. It's quite nice in size. Let's um, give you a comparison. That's an iPhone 13, standard iPhone 13. So you can see the screen's pretty big. I would imagine we're going to use this one mounted on the dash. Um, I think that would uns. No, it don't. So. Yeah, that's quite tight. So. It pushes on like that. I think what we'll do is we'll try this in the van and we'll also try it in the car. Just so we can see what the difference is. But um, I think what we'll do is we'll use the sucker mount just so we don't waste it. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's actually on the device and what inputs and that we got. On the top, if I come a bit closer to the camera, you can see we've got a power button there. And there's also a reset, should you need to reset it. And we come round to the side, I'm going to come right in close to the camera now. And we have a microphone, SD card slot, camera input, audio input, USB, and the power. So I'm presuming we can preload a memory card with audio tracks, maybe video tracks. Um, we can plug in a USB device. We'll find out later what we can do with that. So there we are. Initially, it looks quite good. Um, I'm hoping this is gonna be the solution. It's wireless, so the theory is that I'm gonna be able to connect my phone wirelessly to it, so we'll be able to have maps when we're driving. That's the main, main thing, really, that's what we want, is we wanna have decent maps when we're driving. 
but it will give us other added benefits as well, which we'll find out as we're looking through it. So I guess the next step is we're gonna take it out into the van and connect it all up. I thought before we actually go out to the van and have a look, we'd have a look at this uh, window bracket as well. You can see it's multi-adjustable. So if you're mounting it in your window like that, it moves up and down. But it's also got an adjustment there, I've just noticed. So you can go that way as well. So in actual fact, if your window's a little bit far away, you'd be able to bring it closer to you. So just, it's quite a nice designer bracket, I think. Anyway, the next step is to go into the van and mount it and connect it up. I'm gonna, when I connect it up, I am gonna use the um, cigarette lighter charger. I think in a more permanent solution now, I'd probably find a way of wiring it into the ignition. But for this, we're gonna just do it like this because I'm probably gonna want to keep this for other vans, other cars, and not hardwire it in. Okay, on to the van. Well, we're back. Um, yesterday you saw me opening up the box and unfortunately it looked like somebody had already had this um, screen before we received it. So I spent the rest of last night on the phone to Amazon um, asking what was gonna happen. And they've decided um, they can't give me a, a discount. Um, they have to give me a refund and I have to send it back miffed um, anyway it doesn't stop us carrying on and we'll have a look at it and I can decide whether I definitely want one as well so we've got a few days to get it back so let's have a good look at it anyway so the first thing is we're gonna open it again um, I've got the box here and we know it's been used before so the first thing we're gonna have to do is a reset so maybe that's not such a bad thing in a funny way so first of all we're gonna connect him up to the car again so we'll take out the power supply now the great thing I've noticed on the Ducato here is if we have it mounted here there's a nice channel that runs down to the cigarette lighter and the cigarette lighter does come on with the power on the Fiat Ducato um, I can't say for other vehicles but so the great thing is, when it's permanently installed, or as permanently as it's going to be, permanently temporary, permanently temporary installed, we'll be able to feed that cable down there, so it's not flapping about. So I'm quite pleased about that. Hopefully, there's enough cable left up there for that. We'll put the main. Sticking stand, although we're not going to stick it in now, obviously, um, because it is going to go back. It definitely gives me a good chance to see whether I like it or not. And you do have the option as well, if you wanted to, you could screw it into wherever you're going. Now, one thing I've noticed with the, this one is it's a little bit rocky. So we'd have to figure out what we're going to do there. So anyway, we're going to plug it in and we're going to need to pick it up a few times. So not such a bad thing. So plug it in. So you've got a phone link. You can take calls, you can listen to music, uh, navigation. You've got Bluetooth function for Bluetooth music and hands-free calls. Voice control um, supports Apple Siri, uh, Android voice control. Um, it's a, the USB port is 2.1 amps, um, so you can charge your phone on it as well. That's not bad. That's not a bad thing. Uh, it says five minutes to install, no skills required. It's got an FM transmitter to connect to car audio. We'll try that. Um, auxiliary output to connect to your auxiliary input on your stereo. Um, supports the camera as well. Um, looking on the other side, so you can see here we've got phone link, FM transmission, um, 1080p touchscreen, takes an SD card like we said yesterday, um, rear view camera, uh, voice control, auxiliary in, and USB. 
Um, I think, personally, I think I really think it could be brilliant. Um, now, I suppose the other thing that comes to mind is people are going to say, is it legal? But the fact that it's being sold on Amazon, I think it has to be legal. You can have sat and have mounted in your windscreen. So I can't see any reasons why it wouldn't be legal. Anyway, let's move on. We're going to um, put the keys in ignition and just power it. I'm just going to turn fans off and everything so we don't have any humming noise in the background. And plug them in. And there he is, we can see him booting up. I'm just going to move that garland out of the way just in case that's stopping you from seeing. So there we are, we've booted up. Um, now, how did I know that someone had been connected to this before? Um, I went into settings and I think I went into Bluetooth. And I went into the paired list. And there you can see there's a Pixel 4 and a Blue Test. Now, I don't have a Pixel 4 and whatever Blue Test is as well. So that's how I knew it would had been used before. It's quite disappointed. Okay, so we're going to factory reset the device. Got a little pin here. And hopefully, to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to put that pin in. Push it down and release him. I'll hold him there. He comes back up. We'll just go back into the settings. Nope, oh, it's not ready yet. So obviously when you do a reset, it does do something else in the background. Go to settings. Go to Bluetooth. Bluetooth settings. Paired list. Hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. Well, if anybody else gets one of these, can you tell me if you have these two devices paired as standard? I'm going to disconnect them. And I'm going to reset it again. I want to just see if that is part of the factory. Let's hold it down. Just hold it for 10 seconds. Just in case you could hold it a bit longer, factory reset it. Release it. And just let it come back up again. And I think what we'll do is we'll start off with Apple. That's what I'm using currently. Shock horror. I've moved to um, an Apple phone. We'll talk about that another time. Um, we'll start off with Apple. We'll connect the Apple phone up and get it all working. Then we'll go from the Apple, we'll go to my old Android phone, my old OnePlus, try all the Android side of things. And we'll just see what else we can do with it. Um, I think we'll also look and see if there's any support for firmwares and upgrading and doing anything like that as well at the very end of this video. So stay tuned on that. And while we're doing this, um, you know, it's a good time to say, you know, if you like what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do, why not subscribe to the channel? And why not, you know, like the video as well? And there you go. I've just gone back into that after removing them and resetting it, and it has removed them. So if you buy one of these guys, have a look into the um, Bluetooth and the paired devices, and just let me know if you find anything in there. The seat's a bit squeaky, probably. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued about that. Okay, anyway, let's go back. Theoretically, this is as we'd see at the beginning. So we're gonna look across the top and we got iPlay, Android Auto, AirPlay, Autolink, Settings, Phone, BT Music, USB, SD card, and FM transmitter. So we'll start from the very, very top. We'll do the Apple stuff first. So we'll go into Apple CarPlay. Okay, so it says, please choose iPlay from settings, smartphone, Apple device before using iPlay. So I think that means we have to go actually into this, into settings, 
um, smartphone, Apple device, iPlay. So we've got that. Let's go back home. Then we go iPlay. And for wireless connections, please use your phone to search for a Bluetooth device and confirm. So, just go to the settings here. Go into Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings. It wasn't discoverable. So we're going to turn on discoverable. Ah, W701. And then it's got a hexadecimal number afterwards for the device it is. So we'll try that one. And there we are, you can see the code has come up. So we want to pair that and allow it. So in theory, we've connected. Um, use CarPlay. So in theory, we've connected to that. And wow, look at that. Okay, well, what happened there is um, it connected. It's wireless as well, look, it's wireless. It actually connected to my Spotify at the same time. So we can play Spotify via this device as well. That's pretty amazing. Now this is absolutely wireless, look, there's nothing there. That is wireless. Um, we're gonna go in and um, go into, um, what should we do? We'll go into navigation and we're going to go into, are we in ways there? I think we are in ways. No, we're, no, we're actually in Apple and let's search Plymouth. I don't know, Fraser Road in Plymouth. Let's say go. Starting route to Fraser Road. How good is that? Head east on Liscard Road. So there we are. So that works pretty easy. That was really, really good. Um, screen wise, um, yeah, it looks okay. Let's have a little play around with it a minute. Hopefully you can see this. I'll probably zoom in a little bit. So we've got touch screen. So now we're it. We're actually in I, Apple iPlay and um, the Spotify there. Should we want to play music? We won't be doing it because of copyright reasons. Uh, phone. Let's see if we can call V. Um, so we're phoning V. Hello there, you're being recorded. This is proof that the device works on the screen. Lovely. Lovely. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> and there we are. So that proves that you can take voice calls over it as well. Absolutely brilliant. So you can do navigation, you can do voice calls. That's all we wanted it for, really, just to extend the stereo to your phone while you're driving. Now that is brilliant. I think that's absolutely amazing. I don't know what you think. So if we go back and we have other bits and pieces that are available to us as well. So that's all done. So we're going to move through a bit now. So we got um, AirPlay. This application is for wireless iPhone AirPlay. Please use your phone to search for the wi device Wi-Fi and connect to it. Okay, so we've now got to look for it on Wi-Fi. So we'll go back to our settings. Go to Wi-Fi. We can see the Wi-Fi there. If the password is requested, please hit all the sixes. Well, that's connected. There, is, There is no um, password at all. So I think you'd want to set that up. But we won't, we've just reset it anyway, so um, so there we are, we're connected. And I suppose really, if I was to bring up something on the screen, let's say, let's try YouTube. 
all new to me now, guys. I've just moved to Android and it's a whole new learning game for me. So what we'll do is we'll find one of our videos just so we know we're safe. And, um, and this is a video I did this week. Here we go. We've got sound coming out. Okay, there's no no picture. Let's go back into it. Let's try it that way. Yeah, play the screen, mirror me film. Well, maybe that's a built-in feature. So you can't watch It does seem to be something stranger. Anyway, we won't we won't dwell on that because we're not going to be watching TV while we're driving, are we? You know, that's really silly. In fact, it's really stupid. So that one very successful. You could get this sound coming out. We don't seem to be able to get any speaker. So Auto Link, I believe, is Android. We've used the phone. Um, Bluetooth music. So there we are, it connect, I'm not going to play it, but it connects to my phone, I know that's on my phone. So, um, USB and SD card, we've not tried them yet. Let's try this. Okay, after a little bit of messing around with the screen, it seems like you've got to turn on the FM transmitter and tune it in before you actually play anything, um, which I suppose figures really, doesn't it? Um, so I've tuned it into 87.5 and you can see we're broadcasting on 87.5 there as well. We're receiving, we're receiving, broadcasting. So we're sending it over 87.5 and picking it up on, on the car stereo. So now we go into Apple CarPlay and we're going to pick up the phone. And we're going to start playing that video. You can see it hopefully just starting to play. So hopefully that will play any second now. Mobile signal in Cornwall. It's brilliant, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, so that's playing. Sound quality is pretty poor. I don't know if I can turn up on the phone. Cody. And I think once we've um, installed Cody, the hissing would we'll like exactly really annoy you in the end. But that proves you can do it. So it just pulls that. Turn that down. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try and connect the audio cable. Okay, so we've plugged a audio cable into it and then we're going to plug it into the stereo and we're going to do exactly the same again so this time we're going to go for external source so okay so we're, we're connected got the audio connected tuned into the audio we were having a few problems before so we go into play and we're playing on the airplay Got to make sure it's the airplane, not the other one. That's where I was going wrong. So we're happy with that. Press play. And I showed it in my van. Um, no longer off. Well, I've had a few people comment on the video, and one in particular is asking. That's actually coming out now through the car stereo. So we could tidy. It. Let's just pause that a minute. So we could also tidy that cable up so it could come down and literally go into the crevices on the trim so it just looks a little bit tidier and that would be that I think I think you've got to agree this has got a lot of potential I think the navigation alone for an older vehicle like this that's got a single din stereo and you can't really do a lot with it um, there are st there are the single DIN stereos like I put into the M24 
I'll link to the um, previous video up here somewhere. Um, where we had to cut away at the dash and do a few bits and modifications to get it in. Yeah, that was a great stereo. But this would be even better on a T4 because the dash is so flat. And there's lots of cars and vans I think this would work really, really well in. Um, I think it's fantastic. And once it's mounted properly, you know, if it's fixed, even better. Um, what more could you want? Now, saying that, what more could you want? You want an Android to work with it. Now we've got an Android phone. It's my uh, trusty old OnePlus 7. OnePlus 7T, I think it is. Um, and we're gonna try some Android features. So first of all, we're gonna try Android Auto. So I've done nothing yet. I've not connected Bluetooth or anything. So we're just gonna do it as we would do from the very beginning. So select Android Auto. Please install Android Auto application from Google Play Store on your Android phone and choose Android Auto from settings before using Android Auto. Okay, so that's the first thing I've got to do. Okay, I've gone to Google Play to install Android Auto. I knew this, but I wanted to prove it. Android Auto is installed by default on all modern Android phones. So there we are. So that's the first step. Okay, so we've got Android Auto. Please use your Android phone to search for the device Bluetooth. So pretty much the same as what we did on the Apple device. So we're going to go into Bluetooth and we're going to look for the device. Pair a new device and straight away it appears at the top. So we're going to take that. Comes up with the passkey, you can see that. Hopefully, you can read them both. So, we're going to pair that. OnePlus 7T. To continue, select Android Auto on your car screen. So, let's just connect again Android Auto. Activation fail. Manager switch. Oh, okay. So. Welcome to Android Auto. Requires permissions to access data calendar. Well, we knew that. So we'll say OK. Continue. And there we have Android Auto working. So um, haven't used Android Auto before, so we want to use Maps. Google needs location permission check notification on your phone so no, I don't appear to be any permission oh there we are Google Maps needs permission so we're gonna while using the app and there we are so where should we search for should we search for I don't know um, where have we been before? Let's say Truro. Now this phone hasn't got a SIM in it at the moment. So I think that's where we may have a little bit of a problem. But that's said and done. We can see it's working. So we've got YouTube music connected to the Android Auto. Um, we can do podcasts, um, phone, obviously the phone won't work. Don't have a SIM in at the moment, so we can't do that. Um, but it works. You can see that Android Auto works as well. And we'd have all the same features that were available. Um, Auto Link, we'll come up to Auto Link now. And this is where we got to connect um, via the Wi-Fi, I believe. The application is for my phone or Android phone screen mirroring for please install auto link application okay let's do that first so we have to install auto link on this one so you can see there auto link which is not installed as standard so we're just going to install that now and open agree 
retry with a cable. Okay, so we're back and um, we've had a few little issues trying to work out how to get this auto link to work. Now, what you have to do, if we go back to home, before you select the auto link, you have to go into your settings, you have to go into your phone, go into an Android device and select auto link. So we come back out and then we go to auto link and it asks us to connect to the cable. So we're going to do that now. Right, so when safe to do so, check your phone. Auto link. So we'll say OK. While using the app. Allow. Start now. And there we are. Oh, I don't think it will. Let's see if we can. Um, screen rotation is on. Auto rotate is on. So, um, all right, there you are. So you can see you can mirror your phone as well. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the cable. And just see if we can do it wirelessly. Go to Autolink. It doesn't like it. It doesn't appear to like it on this phone wirelessly. So you'd have to have your cable plugged in for this. So that's Android and Apple. So we've done the music. Um, we haven't plugged anything USB in yet. So we'll try that in a second. Um, now let's go down through the settings and have a look, see what we got here. So we're going to start from the top. So we got, on the first screen we got language, we got backlight. So we can adjust the backlight. From 1 up to 10. Hopefully you can see that, and uh, you got day. Day and a night sort of setting, so you obviously want it a bit brighter in the daytime. Okay, that's a backlight. We've got speaker, so we can turn the speaker on and off. We can restore the factory settings here as well. I'm not going to do it, but that's it. Literally restore factory settings, yes or no. So you don't have to put the pin in by the looks of it. Okay, that's good. System version. So that will be interesting when we have a look and see if there's any support online for this. Where maybe there's an updated ROM. Like a lot of um, devices, there are um, little user groups out there that support them and add features to them. We'll have a look and see if there's anything available and we will talk about that a little later on. If there is anything at the end of the video. So we'd looked at Android device. So the Android device when it connects is auto link. The Apple device when it connects, this is by cable, I would presume. And the wireless device would be, we'll go back to CarPlay. Because that's what we're going to use. So that's the, on the devices. So that's how you do it. Just choose your default of what you want within that setting. We go to Wi-Fi, there's our Wi-Fi, our default password, and if we select that, hmm, turn it off. Ah, if you change it, it changes. Right, okay, so that maybe that's all the sixes, it's not the default password. But you can see there, it changes every time I change that. And um, we've got 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi channel. So we'll come down a bit further. So I've really messed that up now, and I? So I'm not going to connect anymore. <laughs> not to worry. Um, unless I can get back to six, all the sixes, but I don't think I will. It's not a problem. And you probably want to do this anyway, so nobody else can connect to it. Come down to the next one, Bluetooth. Bluetooth settings. And this is where we discovered we'd had a um, pair of devices before. So we should see two devices now. OnePlus 7T, which is connected, and my iPhone 
which is disconnected currently. So that's what we should have seen. So that's how we knew this device had been used before. So, and we come down to the final one. We got car. So we got um, park line, park line setting, and a rear camera. I've just entered a SD card into it. So we go into the SD card and it's gonna load up. And there we are. So that'll play music off an SD card if you preloaded an SD card. And uh, luckily this music is off Epidemic Sound. So um, I don't have to worry about copyright. So I'm quite happy with that. All coming through the stereo because it's still plugged in for the audio. Really happy with that. Um, so we'll go back home. And the last thing to do is the USB. So if we were to select it, USB at the moment, there's no device. Now, I do have a USB device with some music in my stereo. Okay, so that was the SD card. And hopefully you can just see me remove it. It's quite fiddly. You big fat fingers look I've got. There's your SD card. Now, what we'll do, I'm going to turn the volume down because I'm paranoid that this will start playing straight away and we'll have um, a copyright strike, which we don't want. So I'm plugging that in. Hopefully you can see me plug that in. I'll turn that up. And yes, it plays straight away. Now, obviously you can see that's um, something I don't want to be playing because um, it will cause a copyright strike. But there we are. You can see, you can go through them, um, backwards, pause. So that's pretty good as well. So you could, you could put your memory card in there and have your music playing that way. Well, we got Spotify on the phone, so you could have your music through Spotify as well. So you've got lots of options there. I think, um, all in all, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, shame this one's got to go back. Um, I'm not sure what that does. Oh, that's backgrounds. So we've pressed that one there. I don't know if you can see this changing. So we've got choice of that background. There's a couple of backgrounds in there. Didn't see anywhere the change at. Let's have a look at the settings again. Um, no, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Rear view camera. No. So there's nothing to actually modify it. I'm aware of. I don't know if you can go that way. No, there's nothing that way. And there's nothing that way. Go up and down. No. So those you can change your background. Interesting enough as well that I don't know where it gets the time from either. Let's try that help button there. That is when you can make any problems. So you contact them um, for we provide software upgrade service for free. So that's interesting. I will look into this and see if there's any newer versions of software and if there's any benefits obviously we all want to know about that and um, home yeah it's a shame I don't know why you can't change your time though that's annoying that's your day night settings so there we have it the car pure ride remote screen if you've got a van, a car, even a boat, I suppose, really, with an old stereo, single din stereo, and you just want to add some new features to it, you want to make your phone talk to it, you want to make it easier to navigate, well, I think this is a good, a very, very good option. There's a few little flaws on it. That time one's annoying me. Um, but we'll have a look now. Um, we'll go back into the house and we'll have a look and see if we can find any more information online, so if there's any new versions. What I will do is I am gonna go into 
the system version and I'm going to take a photograph of it so we know exactly what we've got and then we can so there we are let's take a nice photograph um, I'll put this up on the screen as well so you can read it properly um, and we'll know if we can upgrade it anymore so so far I think it's all good if you're liking this give us a thumbs up hey eh? right I'm gonna go back in the house now and see what we can find out well here we are and we're back in the house I've done a little bit of research since um, we've been out in the van having a look at this and I told you this one had been opened and somebody had used it so I contacted Amazon and this one's going back because I was quite disappointed and I was just about to order one because I'm really really quite impressed but because I thought I'd have a look and see if there's any firmware um, support or anything like that I went on to their web page and it turns out I can buy the 9 inch version of this for less money on their site than I can on Amazon. Hmm, so what am I doing? Yeah, you're right. I'm ordering the 9 inch version when I reorder from them, from Carpew Ride themselves. There is a discount code as well. Whether it's going to work for you, I don't know, but it was VIP15. Um, if you want one, I'll get nothing from it. I'm buying it myself, but um, on their website using VIP15, I've got extra discount. I think it was another 15%. So I've actually bought the newer version for less than this. So thank you, Amazon, for um, not sort of sending out brand new stuff. I wouldn't have even looked around, but you will know now. Anyway, if this video has been informative, give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel so hopefully we can um, do some more stuff as well. I've got a few more bits and pieces I want to review. We've got camping trips, we've got um, a few further away trips we're hoping to get planned soon. Um, and there's more Bali stuff coming up as well. Um, I, I still got some footage from Bali that I want to try and turn into something, so I don't know what that'd be. But um, so if you were one of the people who've been watching the channel because of Bali, there will be more stuff coming up. And I'm heading back. Um, I'm heading back to uh, Indonesia. So I'm hoping to travel from Krakatoa to Flores and all in between. So if you've got anywhere you'd like me to visit, along that route let me know because um or anywhere you can recommend i should go let me know because um we've been to some of the places before but we have been up to all the places we've been to some of java we've been to some of lombok we've been to some of flores we've been to some of Fli rincha yeah rincha um anyway that's enough for me going on see you in the next video guys look after yourselves 